I'm just going to demonstrate the upgrade to Windows 10 TH2 from Windows 7 Service Pack 1 via Windows Update. So in the bottom right hand corner you should have the Get Windows 10 icon by now. If you don't you can use the Windows Media Creation tool which I'll discuss later on. So all we're going to do is left click this Get Windows 10 icon and to the right we can scroll through the right and get some marketing screens just to find out more about Windows 10. If we go back to the left you'll see that we have the options to upgrade now or to start download and upgrade later. I'm just going to select upgrade now. So the Windows 10 TH2 installation file should start downloading and then I should get Windows Update showing that it's downloading Windows 10. So this will take some time depending on your internet connection and the speed of your computer. After it's downloaded the files, it will prepare for installation. The upgrade won't start until you accept a license agreement screen, so select Accept. Once you've selected Accept, it will prepare for the upgrade. And you'll see that Windows Update is ready to restart the computer. So you'll be presented with the screen and you can schedule the upgrade for later or you can start it now. So you'll see shutting down and then you'll see configuring update for Windows 10 and then you'll see shutting down again. And then you'll see a black screen and then the Dell Bias splash screen. Then you should see another black screen and then you should see loading files. And after the files are loaded, you should see upgrading windows. And it should restart about 29%. And then you should see upgrading windows again and it should restart at 75%. After the restart, upgrading windows should continue until it gets to 100%. You should now enter the Welcome to Windows 10 setup. So select next and here you can use the express settings or customize them and you can select next and here your settings will finalize and then you'll log in and you'll see the last screens of the Windows 10 setup. So to the bottom right, you'll see some notifications like this app is no longer available. So these have essentially been uninstalled before upgrading to Windows 10. I'll need to reinstall either Windows 10 updated versions of these or reinstall the Windows 7 applications if Windows 10 ones aren't available. Now I'm unhappy about my Windows 10 upgrade because it's changed my language from English UK to English US. Note the time format is wrong. Note when I right click the desktop it says personalize with a Z and also finalizing settings 
was with a Z as well instead of an S. I'm therefore going to roll back to Windows 7 and use the media creation tool to upgrade properly.